What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and continuing along with our uh, making our drums sound better in our mixes, I'm going to go ahead and today show you a little bit about bus compression. Now, what bus compression is, it basically takes your um, all these sounds that you send to one track and kind of glues it all together. So, in this case, I'm going to show you how to drums use a bus compressor on drums. You can take all those drum sounds and make it sound like one instrument, and it kind of really does glue it together and makes it more cohesive it kind of reduces the dynamic range because that's what you really want because on your drums you kind of got all all over the place you got one up here one up there one left one right what you can do is you can take that dynamic range and bring it closer together with a compressor and that is bus compression now word of thought you don't want to overdo this because that is for the mastering stage so you want to do a little bit of um, bus compression in your mixing stage so i'm going to show you how to do that right now so i'm going to go ahead and um well, we can go ahead and play and show you what I got right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my mixer. So I'm going to hit X on my keyboard. And we're going to send all these tracks to a um, to auxiliary track. So I'm going to go ahead and select all my tracks by clicking and dragging. And go to my output field. Instead of stereo output, I'm going to go to a, um, a bus. And go to bus, I don't know, let's choose one, bus 12. So now that bus 12 is going to be my drum mix. I'm going to go ahead here and type in drum mix. So this right here is my drum mix. So now I can affect the entire volume of all these sounds on one fader. And I can go back to each one and adjust accordingly each sound right there as well. So that is the beauty of a bus compression right there because we have that ability right there. Now on my drum mix auxiliary track right there. I'm going to go ahead and insert a compressor, dynamics compressor. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in from my other window. And now this is where the fun part comes in. Now basically what you want to change for a bus compression as a general idea, because a lot of people love the sound of the SSL G series mixing desks and all that. So Logic kind of emulated that with a circuit type called VCA. So you can change that circuit type to VCA because it really emulates that sound that everybody really likes. And then what you want to do here, the key to having a good bus compression is a slow attack, a slow release, and a ratio that is fairly low. So about 2.5 kind of range. And then basically what you want to do, you want to change your threshold until you feel that it's kind of glued together, but it's not over compressed. There's a fine line between over compression and something that is nicely cohesively glued together. So I'm going to, go to play and just adjust some of these attack settings. And as a word of guideline too, these are just guidelines, as a gain reduction, you don't want anything more than 3 dBs of gain reduction, 3 to 5 dBs of gain reduction, because then you're kind of over compressing, and you're kind of losing the idea of just gluing something together subtly. So I'm going to play and adjust some of these settings. So right there, the drums, it's not sounding overly compressed, but the drums are sounding a bit more together and glued together. So I'm going to go ahead and bypass and I will AB what we just did. So here it is with the bus compression on. Here's with it off. On. And off. And finally on. Again, subtlety is key here. So that is how you do bus compression in Logic Pro. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section. And bus compression doesn't always work, uh, doesn't only work on drums. Apply to many groups of sounds because you'll find, let's say you have a bunch of guitars, bus all those guitars to one uh, auxiliary track and put some bus compression on it. It's going to sound a lot more glued together and every 
a sound will have its place in the mix. Trust me, do it subtly and it will work in the end because you don't want to overdo it here because in mastering, they're going to overdo all this and that's the point of mastering. They're going to overdo it and exaggerate things to make it sound louder because it is a war out there of whose song is going to be louder. So do this subtly and it'll work for you under bus compression. If you have any questions on this, ask me in the comment section and as usual guys, more good videos always come soon. I'll talk to you soon. Later.